Today we are doing a Pilates based workout that's safe for osteoporosis. Here we go. The workout we are doing today is a Pilates based workout that's safe for osteoporosis. Let me tell you what that means. It means we're going to avoid flexion and twisting through the spine, and we're going to do moves to help build up our muscles and our bone density and help with balance and mobility. All things that are really important when you have osteoporosis. Keep in mind, there are many, many Pilates workouts out there, including many that I have myself that are safe and good for osteoporosis. So just because you don't see that here, doesn't mean it's not safe. This is just a nice workout to come back to, to help learn about what movements might be good for you and to know you have a workout that's completely safe for your osteoporosis. Final thing before we get started is to know that lifting weights is extremely important when it comes to our bone health. I'm not including that today because this is a Pilates based workout, but I'll include some links below to some of my workouts with dumbbells and I highly encourage you include those in your weekly plan as well. We are going to start in standing and you will just want a chair or a kitchen counter or a wall close as we work into some standing moves. So I'm gonna turn and face my chair. Have your feet hip distance apart, and you're gonna raise up onto your toes, and then lower back down. So you're gonna lift and lower. And if you do not need to hold on to anything for these moves, then feel free to just have your hands off, but also do not be afraid to use this if you need to. So we're gonna work on some strength, some joint mobility while in standing to start for a few reasons. One is research shows us that a few of the most important things when it comes to osteoporosis is staying strong in your legs and strong in that upper back. So we wanna work on that. We also really wanna help with our balance. So we're gonna get into some moves here in standing as well. Last one. Nice job. Now we're just going to go right down into a squat. You're going to sit down and back up. Okay. Now one thing I want you to notice about my back is I am not rounding forward or bending forward at all. I'm keeping my chest lifted as I sit my backside behind me. Okay. Really important to work this motion especially because we squat throughout the day. Every time you get on and off the toilet, you're doing a squat in and out of the car, on and off the floor. These kind of things, we wanna work this position, but also as you go to lift or pick things up off the ground, we don't want you bending over to do that when you have osteoporosis. So learning how to be able to squat in a safe way is gonna help keep your body protected. One more. Nice job. Now I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. You're going to lift your right knee up and then back down. Okay. And again, this is here for balance if you need it or try without. So we're working a lot of strength in your standing leg. And then we're working what we call mobility in your right hip. That's strength and motion combined. Okay, we know that having good hip mobility is really closely connected to our ability to do a squat, to get on and off the floor and all of those things we just talked about. It's gonna help with your balance too and help with fall prevention. Okay, now we're gonna turn this into a circle. So you're gonna lift this leg up, open, down, and forward. Up, open, down, forward. So you're drawing a big circle in the air with that hip and it's okay if your circles are smaller than mine no big deal okay switch direction so i lift it out to the side forward and down you are just meeting your body wherever it is today this might be something that you've done before it might be something completely new so you're doing just the amount that you can do for today switch sides so i'm going to plant my right foot down lift the left and lower. So we are getting rid of that all or nothing mindset. 
We are celebrating the fact that we're here right now, that we're doing something good for our bodies. Good, on this one, lift, open, lower, forward. Nice job, switch directions. Staying really strong in that standing leg. I know it works the standing leg quite a bit. <laughs> That's the sneaky part about this. Nice job. All right, walk it out. We're gonna set the chair to the side and I'll meet you down on your mat. So we're gonna start on all fours on our mat. This is actually a really important position as it does weight bearing through your upper extremities, which means it's strengthening the bones of your arms, okay? Strengthening the muscles of your arms. So it's a really important position. So we're gonna be right here, keeping this nice flat back position. And I want you to bring the right arm out in front of you and hold it there. And if that's enough, then just stay there. If it feels okay to you, maybe you can lift the left leg back behind you for a little spinal balance. And then we'll bring those back down. Left arm in front, and again, your choice. You can stay here or you can add the right leg and back down. And then we'll continue with this. So either just the arm or you can do arm and leg lifting at the same time. So not only are we strengthening our arms and legs by being in this weight bearing position, we're getting some really good strengthening in the upper back, in the upper spine. As I mentioned, that's a really good place to work and strengthen with osteoporosis, but also as we age, it helps with fall prevention. It helps with posture. One more each side. And last one, nice job. Come back down and you're gonna come down onto your stomach with your elbows on the mat. So we're in this extension position. Again, another nice, safe place to be that works on that extension in the upper spine, okay? So I have my elbows down, my fingertips are spread wide. Take your right leg, you're gonna bend the knee and flex the foot and then point and reach it long. Other side, bend and flex, point and reach. So think about keeping your shoulders down. And four, three, strong in your legs. Two, one, nice job. Go ahead and come down onto your stomach. Reach your arms out in front of you. Okay, option one is you can lift opposite arm and opposite leg. Okay, so your head rests and I'm lifting opposite arm and opposite leg. Option two is what we call swimming in Pilates where you're gonna lift your head, arms, legs, and swim. You're alternating arms and legs and breathing for five, four, three, two, one, and rest on one cheek. Nice job. I'm gonna have you roll onto your right side from here. Okay, options are to have head in your hand right here or be up in what we call a high elbow. Completely up to you. Your bottom leg is straight and is at the top edge or the front edge of the mat. And you're gonna lift that top leg and reach it out long and flex your foot. Hips are stacked. Inhale, bring the leg forward with a flexed foot. Exhale, point and bring it back. So we're getting into a little more strength in the hips with some mobility in that hip joint. And then if you're up on a high elbow like this, you're getting some arm strength as well. Keeping that back in that nice, kind of flat, neutral position, only moving as much as the leg can move without the back coming with it. Now keep the toes pointed forward, up and around for a circle. And two, one, switch directions, 
four, three, two, one. Nice job. Bend your knees, take your time pressing up, and we're gonna come to the other side. Same position you were in, either down flat or high elbow. The bottom foot is at that front edge of the mat. Reach the top leg out, flex your foot. Feel like I'm pulling on that leg to really lengthen and then bring it forward on an inhale, exhale back. So again, I want you to celebrate that you're moving today, that you're doing something good for your body. I know as a physical therapist and working with so many clients throughout the years with osteoporosis, when that's a new diagnosis, I know it can feel a little scary, a little unknown of what you can do. So the key is do not be afraid to move, all right? Exercise is recommended. You just need to find what feels good to you and feels safe to you. Do your research, talk to your doctor, do workouts like this to make you feel more comfortable. And then you can start choosing the things that are best for you, but don't be afraid to move. Keep your toes pointed forward, up and around. Switch directions, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Bend, and we're gonna press to come back up. And then have your legs out in front. If you can, you're gonna have your legs straight. And I know this can be a lot of work to sit upright with legs straight if you have any tightness in your hips. So if you need to, you can definitely bend them to sit more in a bent knee or a kind of cross-legged position. Whatever feels best for you, sit up nice and tall. Take both arms in front of you. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale around for a circle. So this too is really working those upper back muscles helping with posture, getting into the arms a little bit. Switch directions. Two more. Nice job. So we are gonna sit cross-legged, find a comfortable position again, whatever's best for you here. Inhale, right arm up, and then exhale, lean over to the left. Inhale, back up, exhale down. Other side, inhale, left arm, exhale over. So we'll do a few more like this, remembering your body does need to move in life. There are certain things that we do. We drive, we hike, we clean, we cook, we garden, we do all the things. And so we do need to be able to function and do those things. So the key is to find a safe way to do it and to continue feeling strong. You can even keep getting stronger with an osteoporosis diagnosis feel empowered, and get educated in what you can do with your body. And find some joy in that movement. All right, bring your right ear to your right shoulder. And back up. And left ear to your left shoulder. and back up and then look over your right shoulder and back to center look over your left shoulder back to center and inhale both arms up and exhale both arms back down and great job thank you so much for joining me here today and I'll see you on your mat soon.